Hey guys, welcome to the 22nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to overload methods and how to use enumerations. So, I touched on using uh, or overloading methods before, but I didn't really explain like what it was, so I'm going to do that now. So basically, overloading a method allows you to use the same method as many times as you would like as long as you change the parameters. For example, if we were to copy this uh, show message method right down here, we would get an error if we tried to debug. So it's debug, and yeah, we get an error. And it says that um, this my namespace dot my class already defines a member called show message with the same parameter types. And what that means is these parameters are the same as this one. So we cannot have two methods with the same name that have the same parameters. So we would have to change the type of the variable being passed or pass multiple parameters into our um, uh, method. So we could also do, we could do like string my message and it would allow that too. But another, or you could change the type of the variable being passed. So if we change this into an integer, then that would be perfectly fine. But we just have to do dot two string right there because we can't. Uh, we have to convert it into a string. So now when we go back to our uh, form one and we do this show message method, we have two options. We can either pass an integer in or a string in. I'm going to pass an integer in first. So type 21 in there. And now when I debug, that's perfectly fine because it knows which method to go to. It knows to go to this method because it's passing an integer. So now I should get 21. Yep. And if I were to change this to passing a string in, such as Adam, now let me debug, I should get a message box that says Adam. And yep, because since it was a string, it knew to go to this method right here. Now, you can overload a method as many times as you would like, like I said before. Like, we could overload this method like 20 times, and that would be perfectly fine. But we would just have to change uh, the parameters being passed in. So, now that we got overloading methods out of the way, I'm going to show you how to use enumerations. So, basically, what an enumeration is, is and it's, a, it, it's uh, an integer array that um, uses uh, names to, like, uh, like represent each of the uh, integers inside of it. So in order to create an enumeration, you're just going to want to type the keyword enum. And then following that, you're going to want to name your enumeration. And I'm just going to call it names. And after that, you're just going to want to have your curly braces. Now you can um, put anything you would like for the uh, elements. Like you can name these elements uh, anything you would like. I'm just going to put names in there. I'm going to put my name. And then, in order to put multiple elements, you can want to separate them by a comma. And you can either put them all in the same line, or like stagger them, or whatever you want. Like we could do Joe, and then do Bob down here. Or we could put Joe on this line down here, and just on its own line. Usually, you're probably going to want to have them on different lines. But if you only have like three or four elements inside of your names, uh, or inside of your enumeration, then you can just probably put them all in the same line. But you're obviously not going to want to have just like one line of elements all the way across your screen either. Alright, so now that we have this um, enumeration names, we can create a variable with the uh, type names. So we just do like names, and then we create a new variable, and we just name it like, let's call it my name, and then we just got to set it equal to something inside of the names enumeration. So we just do names dot, and then whatever uh, element that we would like. Like since my name is Adam, I'll just do name.adam. So now this uh, variable my name holds the value of Adam. Now like I said before, this is like similar to an integer array. That like each one of these uh, names the element inside of it. So like Adam is defaultly equal to zero and Joe is defaultly equal to zero or one and so on. So like the first element always equals zero, and this is one, and this is two, and so on. But if we wanted to override that, we could uh, set Adam equal to, or the first element equal to one. And then the next element would be equal to two, and then three. 
But if we were to set Joe equal to like four, then Bob would be equal to five. So whatever it just it's the next element is always one greater than the previous element. And these are defaultly integers. We could change these to another variable type that is like numbers by doing a colon here and then typing the name of the variable we want it to be. So if we want to make it like a byte, then we could do that. So now 1 is a byte, and now 4 is a byte, and so on. So instead of it being like an integer array, it's now like a byte array with Adam equaling the first uh, element in there. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.